Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. All praises to Allah. We send peace and salutations upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Continuing speaking about our uh, marhum, our dear brother uh, Irfan Qasim, the CEO of uh, Muslim Hands, rahimahullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him rahma, rahmatan wa si'atan, ya rabbal alameen. Joining us, another uh, group of his uh, beloved friends and family, and uh, let's, let's welcome him uh, in the studio. Uh, we have the fundraising manager of uh, uh, Muslim Hands. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Barakallah feekum, shukran for, for joining. And we have also two of the sons of uh, Brother Irfan, Brother uh, Ahmed and Nazir. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to the studio. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have rahmah on uh, Brother Irfan. And I will allow me to start with you, inshallah. Maybe uh, Brother Ahmed, you can uh, tell us more about your, your, your father uh, as a father and also about the last moment in the life of, uh, of so, your father. Yeah, as a father, he wasn't, he wasn't really hard on us, you know. Um, he always wanted the best for us, you know, so like example, if we come home, like we never really had bad reports or anything, you know, and even then he'd still be hard on us, you know, like he'd, he'd always try and push us, you know, like he'd want the best for us. So yeah, you know, um, he also said, he also said, you know, like, he also said like a lot of, like just the way he was, you know, like as a role model, as a figure, because the things he done, like I know a lot of people hear about what he done with Muslim hands, but even before he was with Muslim hands, he was always still giving back to the community like I remember when we were younger um, and we were still staying abroad because we stayed in Saudi Arabia for a few years mm -hmm. and when we came back home I think it was during Ramadan or something and then um, my dad went back to where he grew up which wasn't which was like an underprivileged area and I remember he organized parcels and he gave back to his community where, where he grew up so even before Muslim hands, you know he was always someone who wanted to give back to the community and Alhamdulillah when he got the job with Muslim hands, I think that is probably something he was looking to do in life, you know, mm. because that helped him. It befits his character. Yeah, it, mm. be, yeah, it, befit, it fits him really well, you know, so he could give back even more to the community on a wider scale. And then, yeah, like, at home so, he was fine, you know, alhamdulillah, he wasn't, he, was, he always set good standards for me and my brother. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Allah yeah. rahmatan wa sa'ana. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yitaghammadu bi rahmati. The Musab is, 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 I know, we know it's so, so big. That you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you sabran jameelan yeah. inshallah and, yeah. and that you be on the footsteps of your father, Allahumma yeah. ameen. Yeah. Brother Nadir, uh, subhanallah, yani we were talking earlier to uh, Ambassador Ibrahim Rasul and he mentioned subhanallah that uh, a beautiful lesson for all of us that sometimes death comes all of a sudden and people need to be prepared for that. Tell us about the last, uh, the last time, of, uh, yani the last moments in the life of your father and uh, was, was he sick before or something just to give some information about about his demise to the to the viewers no he wasn't really sick he was actually quite a, a very healthy person for his age and um he was always doing uh things that people at his age wouldn't really do always going for runs in the morning running up jacob's ladder um but uh the morning of his passing he um he fainted and then he, but he woke up and he said that he would be okay. Um, he said that he felt okay, but he was just going to go to sleep and have a rest. And it seems as if he went in his sleep. So maybe there wasn't much pain in mm -hmm. that. And um, yeah. And so he, he passed away during, during his sleep or later on? Yes, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. seems so. Allah wa Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To grant him rahmat mm -hmm. and and to, uh, yani, uh, we see all people around. Uh, they are giving witness to him. And Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "When antum shuhudullah fil ard, you are the witnesses of Allah subhanahu wa taala on earth. When someone passes away, and lots of people, subhanallah, making dua for him, and lots of people are in a shock uh, for, for for hearing that news, and they making dua for him. Then Allah azza wa jal have mercy on him just because of the witnesses of people to him. So subhanallah, uh, yani, he already passed. He passed the the the, the, the test." This whole life that you are living in is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this person you already got his degree and graduated, subhanAllah. Mm -hmm. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him Jannatul Firdaus and to grant us also to be on, on the footsteps, inshallah, that we always yani, in, in, in the ta'a of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the service of the community. Your father did so many beautiful humanitarian humanitarian work. Can you tell us more about that and, and all the good that he used to do in, in his life as well? Yes, it's, it's definitely uh, an inspiration for me, helping people. Uh, it's one of the greatest legacies that you can leave behind. 
Um, and, um, he, you know, he gave back uh, not just here in South Africa, Mashallah. but he helped out in different countries mm. such as Niger, uh, Gambia, and... Um, so this is in his work with uh, with Muslim yes, hands. He used work. to used to help people yes, humanitarian yes. work. Subhanallah. Yes. And this may be taking me to our dear brother, the the, the director of uh, one of the directors of Muslim hands. Um, uh, maybe you can introduce yourself and also how you interacted with the brother Alfa. Uh, to the viewers as well. My name is Ashraf Kini. I'm the fundraising manager of Muslim hands. Um, I think last uh, last Monday morning. Uh, Brother Irfan was meant to come and uh, come and spend some yes, time with you, yeah. and um, you know, for the rest of us who were watching at home, we were surprised to see that you know he didn't, uh, he wasn't on, and that obviously uh, raised a bit of concern to us uh, because he was a very meticulous person. He was a person that was very really late uh, for anything. Um, he was always on time. He was always very meticulous in terms of how he approached things, and uh, so. Alhamdulillah, we, we, we were fortunate to have an opportunity to have um, someone uh, of his character to be able to serve as the CEO of Muslim Hands. I think there is a, 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 a tendency within senior management, particularly within the corporate world, mm -hmm. uh, that you know, they're very aggressive and ruthless. And, 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 and he was, I think, quite the opposite to that. He was a very compassionate person. He was the type of CEO, although he was a CEO, he'd walk into the office and ask everyone and inquire about their well-being. And, and, and not do so for the sake of, you know, just, just for, for, for the sake of doing so, but actually out of concern for them, you know. And, and, and that, I think, was is, is, is one thing that I think all of us as Muslim men are certainly going to remember about him, uh, not only in terms of his character, but also in terms of the way that he dealt, not only with us, but I think importantly the people that we served. Uh, he was always a big proponent, you know. Sometimes we, 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 we tend to place over or too much emphasis on the people that give and not a lot of emphasis on the people that receive. And he, he, and he was the type of person that would remind us, you know, on a regular basis. In fact, the, the, the Thursday before he passed away, he called us all into a room and he said, and he, he took us through, um, you know, his, his, a bit of his vision and, and, and what he had hoped. And he gave us quite a bit of advice. And one of that advice was, for us to focus on the people that need us, uh, for us to focus on, on, on those who uh, perhaps would never know our names but who, who need our assistance. And so on Friday evening then, before his passing, when we heard of the earthquake in Morocco and uh, we arrived at the, the office on the Saturday, immediately he started putting plans into place, you know, um, started calling around and see how we could arrange visas and so on and so forth so that he could travel there. Uh, not only for the sake of you know physically being there and you know being able to show people that he was there, but to actually go and serve, to actually go and if needs be, uh, mentioned to me the Saturday before his passing that if needs be I can go help him you know dig up rubble and so on and so forth, and that that was the type of person that he was. He was an inspirational figure to us uh, at the organisation, and he's going to be uh, very dearly lost uh, and, and and missed rather. And uh, as, as you've been saying all morning, that uh, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him um, and forgive him for any shortcomings and, and for granting our blessings. What, 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 after you, what you mentioned and what the, uh, Minister Ibrahim Rasul and the other brother, Dr. Omar, and all of you are mentioning, subhanAllah, what a great loss that the community mm -hmm. lost. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to compensate uh, and, and to grant him rahmah, of course, in a better place, and to grant you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant Muslim hands also uh, someone of the same caliber of uh, Brother Irfan that he can also serve the ummah in that way. And uh, mentioning, subhanAllah, mentioning that time when he was supposed to come, mm -hmm. that same day that he passed away, he was supposed to come in the program to do a program with me. And uh, I, I just recall Brother Ahmed the Mashtawi, the engineer, he just reminded me that day uh, when after we knew that he passed away, that in Ramadan, uh, that last Ramadan, uh, Brother Irfan was with me here in the studio and we started speaking and uh, towards the end of the program he said uh, maybe our, m maybe you Sheikh and my uh, the viewers will not see me again mm. subhanallah it was something like yeah, we, we, we didn't we didn't realize that at that mm -hmm. time of course no one knows لا يعلم الغيب إلا الله عز وجل but subhanallah as if يعني, he was expecting mm -hmm. uh, or, or let's say you know, a person was always ready for death يعني, mm -hmm. someone was always ready يعني, subhanallah and, and uh, this was a 
And I, I believe if Ahmed can can prepare that, our engineer, if he can prepare that, we can mm. also play it to the viewers as well, that part of the uh, of the program uh, in Ramadan, that was mm -hmm. with us in Ramadan. And subhanAllah, the same day, we're waiting for him uh, in, uh, uh, to come to the program. He didn't come, so we called Ahmed. Ahmed tried to call and couldn't get hold of him. But subhanAllah, Allah Azza wa Jal planned for him and ordained something something uh, better for him, mm -hmm. subhanAllah. I always say uh, what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, yeah, that mayit, who already, uh, who already uh, Allah SWT granted him tawfiq mm -hmm. to do good before he passes away and he passed away on with iman, with taqwa he passed away serving the people subhanAllah as a bishara to him and bishara to his family and good news I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of you and to be Amen. on the footsteps of brother Irfan Amen. and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the family sabran jameelan Amen. our condolences with you and we're all making dua and we ask the ummah also and all of viewers who are watching us to make a lot of dua for brother Irfan and to all the marhumin Allahumma arhamhum wa rawihum fil jannah Allahumma inna nas'aluka lana wa lahum al-fardawsa al-a'la min al-jannah Allahumma atihi kitabahu bil-yameen waj'alu fi illiyin wahshuru fi zumrat al-shuhada wa al-siddiqin wa al-salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa ذلك الفضل من الله والحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا جزيلا تنذير تو أحمد and to brother أشرف كيني may Allah سبحانه وتعالى reward you for for coming and for inspiring a lot of people by the story of brother Irfan Qasim جزاكم الله خير الجزاء right uh, with that we came to the end of the segment of our program we taking a short break we'll come back after the break إن شاء الله شكرا brother Irfan may Allah سبحانه وتعالى reward all your efforts and Take Muslim hands from strength to strength. Allahumma amin ya rabbal alamin. Shukran jazeel. Shukran kathiran to you, uh, Sheikh, for inviting us once again. And obviously, I um, might not see you and the viewers again. We want to wish you, your family, as well as all the viewers of Hilal TV and the management, a joyous Eid Mubarak. Amen. And inshallah, may it be a blessed one. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Mubarak to you too. Barakallah fikum. Jazakum Allah khairan.